Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Policy Buff, and in this video, we're gonna discuss our new Policy Buff app. But before we get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you wanna watch more product videos like these or our How I Got the Shot series. All right, let's get started. Our app is a free download on iOS and Android devices, and in this first version, you're gonna be able to control both your modeling light and flash output directly from your phone or tablet. And we have some cool new features that'll be added over time. To use the Policy Buff app, you'll need to make sure that you have the hub remote and a policy buff flash unit. Also, you wanna make sure that your hub remote has the Bluetooth on. All right, let's go ahead and get into the app. Once you download it, press on the buff icon. This will open the app. You'll see the buff logo and a splash screen. Once the app loads, you'll be asked to search for hub remotes. Go ahead and click the search for hubs button. The hubs that are within range will now populate within the app. Find the serial number that matches your hub that can be found on the box that it came in and also under the about section on the hub remote directly. To begin pairing your device, click on the hub remote that matches your serial number. Then click pair hubs. Next you want to select a frequency. For this purpose of the demo, we're going to be using frequency 13. You can change your frequency by pressing the plus or minus sign next to the number. Then click find a flash unit. Once found, a flash card specific to that flash unit will appear. Each flash card shows the flash power, modeling light, channel, mode, and settings. To change the flash power, tap on either the plus or minus buttons. This will change in 10 stop increments, or if you press and hold, it'll rapidly change your settings. As you'll see here, our modeling light is turned off. To turn it on, go ahead and click the eye icon. To change the power of your modeling light, go ahead and swipe across the bar. To collapse the flash power shown in the flash card, go ahead and tap the eye icon. This will keep your flash active at its current power output, but does allow for more room to see different flash units that you may have in your setup. Again, to turn off the modeling light, go ahead and click on that little eye icon. To make additional adjustments to your flash unit, go ahead and click that settings button. This will pull up the flash unit detail. It includes your flash unit ID, the flash unit settings, and your hardware settings. Within the flash unit ID, you can change the name of your flash unit to something that might be more specific for you. In this demo, we're gonna take out link 800 and we're just gonna put in main light. Bing, bing, bing. Whoop. Bing. Under flash unit settings, you can change your model mode, the recycle indicator, if you want your slave eye on or off, and the mode that the light's in. Once in the model mode, go ahead and click on your new selection and then click OK. That was really bright, so we're gonna put it back on independent. To change your recycle indicator, go ahead and click on that. Again, make your selection and click OK. To turn your slave eye on or off, just go ahead and hit that little toggle. On the link, we can change the mode from action to color. Same thing, click on the selection that you want and then click OK. Under the hardware settings, you'll see the channel that your flash unit is currently on and the hub that it is paired to. Also, you'll see there it says current firmware and it'll let you know if there's any updates available. Now, let's go back to the main screen. To turn off the flash, click on the slider in the upper right section of the flash card. Under the main screen, you'll see in the upper right hand corner a file folder. Go ahead and tap that. This allows you to save your setup. For this, we're just gonna put it as test so type that in, you have a max of 25 characters, go ahead and hit Create Setup. Now your setups are saved for future use. After we've saved our setup, it takes us back to the main screen. You'll notice in the upper left, next to the word Buff, that there is a hamburger style menu. Go ahead and click that. This brings up all the different sections that are located within the app. Flash Units is our main section that we've been working in. Setups is where we just saved our setup. In the Hub section, it shows the hub that's connected, its serial number, if there's a firmware update, the frequency it's on, and how many flash units are currently connected. You can also unpair this hub from this section. Under resources, you'll see our product manuals, videos, studio flash education, light modifiers in use, and the Buff Basics blog. If you click the shop button, it'll take you directly to our website. Under settings, you'll see where you can manage your hub, which is the same field as our hub section before, contact support, which will allow you to contact app support, 
and the software licenses that are used for this app. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions regarding the app, use the contact support tab located within the app and we'll be in touch soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.